In today's video, I'm going to show you 15 AI generated Notion cover photos that I've created based on prompts that I've entered using the tool Mid Journey. These 15 cover photos, some of which are premium and some of which are free on my website, notionaesthetics.com, are going to be the ones that I show you in today's video. And I'm also going to peer behind the curtain and show you the process that it took to get to this point towards the end of this video. So stick around and see how these cover photos were actually made and kind of get a hint for how I did this. I'm probably going to make a more in-depth video on how I made these, but I did want to give you guys a sneak preview for those of you who stick around throughout the entire video. So enjoyed these cover photos. And without further ado, let's get into it. The first cover photos that we're going to be taking a look at are the lo-fi pack cover photos. So these are the first four cover photos that I put up for sale on premium. And they are essentially made up of just some different scenes that I thought up in my head and asked mid journey to create. So these are all prompted using mid journey. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to generate lo-fi images as well. And I'll probably go more in depth on this in the future, but these are available at notionaesthetics.com. So I'm going to click on this escape the wild. So this one is inspired by a book that I read growing up. I believe it was called hatchet. And it was also inspired by one of these guys I was just talking to recently said that he's going to go on a fishing trip in Northern Canada. And he was explaining what the place looked like on a 400 acre lake. And I was like, okay, I was kind of trying to imagine what that would look like in my head. So that's what this one's inspired by. And then City Kitty, this one's just a cat sitting on a windowsill. The moon is rising as the sun is setting and there's just this crazy city skyline. And it's kind of like this higher resolution, lo-fi pixel art, 128 bit look that I like to go after. So I can show you guys how I ended up with this image. Another thing to mention is that these images are very responsive. So they're gonna look good on any screen size for your Notion cover photos. Let's get on to the next one. This next one is called Doc sunset. So this one, I just wanted to experiment with another sunset and another perspective of the city. So you can see the city skyline again in this photo, but this is another perspective. This is the city from the country. When I was first moving out of my parents' place, I moved into the city and realized that I didn't like the city very much. So I ended up moving back out to the country. And this is just a look at someone staring into the distance at what the city is like, as opposed to the city kitty one that I showed you guys earlier. Now, the last one here is red beacons, and this is kind of a look at what the dystopian future might look like if we have the top 1% in the hills with their beautiful mansions in some weird, creepy dystopian future. I guess in some places it's kind of already like that, but this is kind of what I imagined it to look like in a very futuristic, dystopian far away world. I don't know. Maybe it's not so far away. But anyways, that is the lo-fi pack and I really enjoyed putting this together. I'm going to be adding to the lo-fi pack. So if you are interested in premium and you want to download these notion cover photos, all you have to do if you have access to premium is click on them. And then this small image right here, you can just right click, open it in a separate window, and then you can save it and upload it to your notion workspace. All right. The next pack that we're looking at is called low poly. And this pack is basically just a different style with some different scenes involved. So this one again has four cover photos, and this is a premium pack that I'm probably going to be adding to. I just got back from Hawaii, so I'll start with Ocean Calls. This one I feel like is kind of like Moana inspired, and I watched that movie when I was in Hawaii, and I was thinking about Moana when I created this image. So it just got these nice little waves here, and it's this low poly look. So I really like this Ocean Calls one. These images are a bit lower resolution than you might think I should be putting in here, but you'd be surprised. Notion can't really load high resolution images in here, so I try to make these fit for all devices. So if you guys feel like they need to be higher quality, we may have higher quality options in the future. But for now, I try to keep them somewhat low resolution so that Notion still loads properly and it loads quickly. The next one is changing seasons. This one is kind of what it looks like in the fall where I live. All the trees go different colors. And in this case, they're all yellow. And you still have these pine trees sticking up that are a nice shade of evergreen. So yeah, just wanted to kind of display what that looks like, especially in Northern Michigan. And then we have the helm. This is kind of like another far away land that I had in mind. 
and this one looks really good on the mobile version so definitely take a look at the mobile version but i really like this one it's just a castle and i'll probably like i said add on to these little worlds and these little images so maybe we'll have for changing seasons just one for each month or something like that and then we also have ancient marvel this one is like one of the desert and the pyramids so i thought this one was pretty neat sticking with the low poly theme as well finally we're taking a look at the free pack if you sign up on the website you can access this pack and this is called wireframe and this one actually funny enough took the most work but it might not be the most impressive i value simplicity in my workspace so this is what i'm recommending to my productive brain users those of you who have said that the gifs aren't loading properly because for some people having a gif as a cover photo doesn't work out because it just takes forever to load so the moving images that i provide in the premium template were not ideal for some so i've released this for free it's the wireframe pack and it's the orb the tree, the eagle, tower, rose, fish, and the eye. So that is the wireframe pack, and these ones are available for free. If you go to our website, notionaesthetics.com, and you sign up for a free plan, you can access these. And again, you can go into these and you can download them by hovering over this little image here and opening it in a new link, and then saving the image and uploading it on your own website. All right, so now I'm going to briefly share all of the elements of a good prompt for creating these cover photos. So if you have Midjourney bot installed on your Discord server, what you can do is you can enter slash imagine you can hit enter and here for the prompt I can enter a prompt for what I want my image to be this technology is amazing and it does a pretty good job but you do have to work with it and you can't expect it to be perfect a hundred percent of the time so I'm going to go ahead and enter my prompt now and one of the ones I like to use for lo-fi pictures is 124 bit lo-fi pixel art and then comma and then I type in Japanese lo-fi pixel art and then I can type in my subject what do I want the image to be of well i want a seaside landscape pixel art and then for a notion sized cover art you're going to type dash dash ar space 15 by 6 okay so 15 long and six tall that's the aspect ratio so what dimensions are this photo and how do we scale it up and down well 15 by 6 is the aspect ratio so now we can go ahead and hit enter and it's going to start generating and right here it's going to tell us the percentage it has left before it's done generating all right, and this has just completed. And look at that, these are quite beautiful, okay? So it did take the Japanese seriously when I said Japanese inspired. So some of these might be a little bit too high-fi for me to fit in with the last one, but I can adjust this, like instead of 124-bit, I can change it to 64-bit lo-fi pixel art, and I could also take Japanese lo-fi pixel art out of the equation entirely, and I could try some different prompts. But the main thing is having the aspect ratio at 15 by 6. So these are passable potentially, but I like to try to match the style a little bit more. I think that this one is actually really close to the style and the way that they do the water in some of these and the clouds. It's a little bit too realistic for me, but in this one, I think they almost got it right. So if I like that one, I would just hit U2 and it would upscale that one for me. And then I could go ahead and download it, edit it in Photoshop, and I could upload it to the website. I hope you enjoyed that quick demo of how to create create these using Midjourney. If you want to see more info on Midjourney and how to create awesome cover photos like this, then definitely check out this video next.